Hey guys, and welcome back to more Nightcry. We return to uh, Rooney as we left her in this storage area. So, <clears throat> not an awful lot of much going on here. We do have something on this table, though. A remote control? It can't be a TV remote. Why not? Even though there's like a TV monitor thing there. Whatever. Upon... Closer inspection, crane has been written at the bottom of the remote control in permanent marker. There's several cranes installed near the ceiling. Maybe it refers to those. Better take it, just in case. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should. What have we got in here? The word wooden box is written on the wooden box in marker pen. Okay, it's unclear why somebody felt it was necessary to do this. I don't know, um, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of commentary there about the, uh, the, the writing of the entire game, to be honest. Anyway, something must have happened here. The forklift has been pushed completely onto its side. The forklift is battered and scuffed. It is not clear if it is in usable condition anymore. Well, I think we have more pressing concerns to be honest, Rooney, then, uh, <laughs> you know, whether that forklift is all right. Inspecting the forklift driver's seat reveals that the key is still in the ignition. Could this mean that I could use this? Hmm. Maybe we can use it, Rooney. But for what? Well, maybe we'll discover. Anyway, let's explore the rest of the room that we are in. Okay, I guess we can't walk down that space behind the container for reasons. Let's go have a little dig around in this open one. And just do our little goblin walk all the way over there into the corner. Also, this game is running okay now. For some reason, the game seems to cap out in the region of 110 frames. Uh, for the entire... LP, this game has been running somewhere around 40 frames a second. Now, it's it's running okay. I I don't know, guys. <laughs> I've, I've done nothing to it. Uh, anyway, what is this? A necklace is lying on the floor. It seems familiar somehow. Is this the necklace Monica was wearing? Hmm, Monica, you must be nearby. But where exactly? Okay, I'm not really sure why we think Monica is nearby, just because her necklace is on the floor. Uh, also, dear viewers, her necklace is on the floor, right? Just, just double check. Yeah, still there. We haven't picked it up. Okay, okay. The necklace is on the floor. Okay. Well, if I could just navigate out of this thing, that would be good. Now, how would you find somebody who's hiding in a crate nearby? I know. Let's ring their phone, shall we? Now, she had John Thompson's phone. Ah. The phone is ringing nearby. Coming from that crate there. <laughs> I can hear a ringtone coming from here. No shit. Well, good thing we've got one of these forklifts still in decent condition. Let's go smash the crate open, shall we? And see if somebody's inside. Oh, easy there. A forklift is kind of easy to drive. It's like a go-kart. Yeah, that'll do it. That will definitely do it, I guess. We've rammed into this thing now. Destroyed the forklift. And they, they are pretty durable, to be fair. But yes, just to drive one, it's quite simple. It's just like a go-kart. You Start and stop. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that large impact. Uh, hope you're, you're not too badly injured. 
is fine. Monica, are you alive? Mm, oh. Sorry to disappoint you. Ro Rooney, how come you're here? No reason. Oh. Well, I'm glad you came by when you did. Thanks. I know it's hard to notice anything else, but did you notice she's wearing her necklace? Um, not really sure. Oh, you know what? It's fine. It it's fine. It's okay. It's, it's only a little detail, you know, in a murder mystery sort of horror game. You know, the simplest, tiniest of details, but it's fine. Anyway, let's talk to her again. To think I'd be the one getting rescued by the girl with a death wish. Are you okay? You seem to be in a pretty bad state. I hid here thinking that it would be safe. And then somebody came in and locked the door behind me. So I've been stuck inside here this whole time. That doesn't sound like a, something the monster would do. But who would do this? I don't know. Some creepy prankster, I guess. Well, whatever. I'm going to survive through all of this, no matter what. I'm living to talk about this, even if I don't make it back in one piece. My little brothers, they depend on me. I'm raising them myself, and they're waiting for me to come back, alive. I mean, probably would be preferable. And I still haven't got my hands on Mr. Rich and Gorgeous, even though I got the chance to board a luxury cruise liner. Because that's what's important right now, right? <laughs> Rooney cuts in. Of course, one way or another, I'll find my man. And him, me and my brothers, will be rich. Will be one rich, happy family. You mean this man of yours, this walking ATM? <laughs> I don't think he will stay rich with a woman like you. You're pretty tough, Monica. You'll get out of this alive, I'm sure of it. Of course I will. As long as I'm here, I'm here to live. What? You should follow that example. What? Rooney just said, like, you're right. Oh, this, this dialogue. I find it fascinating that there are people that actually enjoyed this game and enjoyed the story. Um, I just... I don't have words. I mean, where's the sound effects gone? Like, the, there's no game audio here at all. Um, and that's going to become a theme. I don't know whether they ran out of money this far into the game or what. But uh, anyway, let's keep talking to her. Anyway, have you found anything that might help us get out of here? No. Although, the professor did send us an unusual message. You saw it too, right? Monica says, nope, I lost my phone ages ago. It was something like, beware the man with the prosthetic eye. I think he was supposed to know the truth behind this incident. Prosthetic eye? Rooney says, do you know something? We met at the CAF. He's the owner of this ship. His name is Vigoro. Yes, that was it. Vigoro. Vigoro. I've met him as well, but I didn't realize he had a false eye. Oh, it's a fake eye, all right. I saw him sterilizing it in boiling water. But I didn't think he was particularly suspicious. Looks like we need to find Vigo and get the story straight from his mouth. Hmm. Okay, so these two girls are putting the pieces of the puzzle together. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find a way off this ship. What about you, Monica? For now, I'm going to rest until I can get my strength back to my legs. I could give you a piggyback. Genius. That way, when the monster finds us, we'll both be cut down. Just go on ahead at your own pace. There's something weird about having a girl with a death wish look out for everyone but herself. Oh, by the way, you should take this. A ring? Yeah, I think it's somebody's wedding ring. I found it on some guy's severed hand. If the owner's wife is still alive, you should give it to them. That's kind of you. Well, these things are important, right? Anyway, that's your homework. 
I'll be right behind you. I'm going to bring hell with me if that Vigo dude is behind all of this. All right. Later then. Yeah, later. Okay, so we got the wedding ring. That's kind of handy. That dialogue is just terrible. So, again, everybody dunking on poor old Rooney here for her suicidal tendencies. It just... You know, I don't even think it's done in poor taste. They're, they're obviously just trying to make some kind of comic gag out of the situation. It just... It just doesn't land. It's just awful. Anyway. Ugh. Monica, are you okay? I'm not so pathetic that I need you to worry about me. You just take care of yourself. Alright? Fine. We will do. Let's get out of here. Okay, now that nonsense is done, let's go save the game. Because we've got a little ladder that we can walk up there. Uh, you know what? I don't think we need to save the game. Let's just get this done. Let's go up the ladder. There we go. And now, we're going to play the dodgiest crane controlling section in any game that I've ever seen. Uh, this is awful. It's difficult to explain how terrible this is. So, you click once. You might think, dear viewer, that you can hold the button down. <laughs> That's so cute that you'd think that. But no. So you click. Wait for the animation. Click again. Wait for the animation and the sound to finish. Click again. Wait. Click. Wait. And then we move over to this side. There we go. And we're done. Good thing we only have to do that once. <laughs> yeah, just once. It's, it's more than once. Anyway, let's go downstairs, see what we can find down here. To another little storage area. Okay. Let's see. Curious. Shame the, the actual door just doesn't work, you know. And uh, I guess we're going to keep hold of that remote as well, in case anybody else, you know, comes along and steals it. Nothing in there. Let's go in this one. Evening. Anyone in here? Oh, hello. It's you, staring at a dead body. Uh-huh. A man dressed in crew uniform. His face is deathly pale. It is clear that he has breathed his last breath. <laughs> so what's, what's this? this guy's fucking rips as well. What is, what is this dialogue? Who is this? Kobe. Uh huh. He's a diligent subordinate. Although, unfortunately, I'll have to describe him in the past tense from now on. And again, no sound effects, no background ambience, nothing. Did the monster do this? No, this was a drowning. The sea called for him. Oh. He was with me and the professor on the boat. Of course, he was thrown into the sea along with the rest of us. I managed to drag him on board and somehow uh, tried to resuscitate him. But it was too late. I'm sorry. We actually had a AED, automated external defibrillator, fitted on the upper floor, but he wasn't lucky enough to get to it. I tried every resuscitation technique I know, to no avail. Poor Eric. Okay, that's all we can say about his dead friend. Oh, you're Miss Simpson's, right? Miss Rooney Simpson, wasn't it? And you're... Now I remember. You were at the reception of the party hall. Yes. I am the chief uh, purser, Eric. I'm just taken aback that somebody's still alive. 
I was with an acquaintance of yours, Professor Leonard, up until just now. But things got out of control, and I was thrown overboard. In fact, I've only just gotten my hair and clothes dry. <laughs> you were with the professor? Where's he? Calm down, Miss Simpson. I don't know where he is, myself. Uh, we went ashore to an island in search of clues, when suddenly... Uh, I was suddenly thrown into the sea on our way back. Somehow, I managed to find my way back on board, but the professor was also thrown into the sea too. How the fuck did you get back whilst carrying some? You know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So the professor is... Who knows what became of him? The waves weren't particularly high, so perhaps he found his way safely back onto the ship. Ah, maybe he did. Okay, so, Eric, what are you going to do here? Well, I managed to get myself this far, but now I'm stuck. I was thinking about moving through the air duct as a last resort. Moving through the air duct? There. Yeah, however, it seems the power for the elevator is cut off, so we would just end up stuck in another area. Is there no way to bring the power back online? Maybe, if the electrical, uh, the electrical machinery below us could be repaired and the control panel circuit was switched over manually to emergency mode, then we, would have no oh, then we have no time to waste. It won't work. The control panel is on the floor above us. It's in the hold in the shopping area. And to get up there, you need to have the elevator moving. So, it's a classic case of chicken and egg. <laughs> Uh -huh. We're out of luck. If only there was a way to get in touch with the upper floor, we could. But internal communications are down and I don't have a smartphone on me. What to do? He literally does look like a greasy zombie. Like, really bad. Well, just so happens that we have... Uh, a number... I think we're going to phone Kelly. Hey, Rooney, is that you? Have you found the professor? No, not yet. But I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? What do you want? There should be a switchboard in your cargo hold. I want you to switch to emergency power. Will I know it when I see it? I don't know shit about machines. You will. It should be okay. You can't. Uh, I can't go to the upper floor without it. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I'm counting on you, Kelly. As easy as that. So we've got Kelly to do our dirty work. Right, okay. That's good. Let's move on. Let's talk to him again. Thank you. We stand a good chance of getting the power back on thanks to your friend. Now we should be able to get the elevator running too. You've got to keep clicking on him. Before I forget, I need some help from my friend. Your friend? You mean they're still in this area? Yes, actually. You found her in the storage area, I see. And you say she's in a bad state? Yes. In that case, you should take these. Her weakened state may be... Uh, may well be the accumulative result of her injuries. What kind of drug is this? They're antibiotics. Her wounds might not be deep, but there's still reason for concern. If left alone, she could develop blood poisoning. Both you and your friends should ingest them. That's such a weird... Why? Just say take them. You don't inject them. Dude, I... Okay, thank you. So, we have Eric's mysterious mystery medicine. Uh, okay, let's go give the mystery medicine to Monica and see if we can't make her feel uh, just a little bit better. Now, it's up to you whether you do this, but you do need to do this if you want to get the best ending. And we do want to get the best ending. You also have to take them as well because... If you don't take them, you die. Yep. Don't, don't really know why. Uh, it's 
I mean, I do know how they die, but it's not really explained or anything. But you'll see all that stuff. Also, the animation for her getting on this, I, I know. I, I shouldn't, I, it shouldn't bother me, but it does. Um, <laughs> she climbs down, right? She doesn't climb over onto it. She, she climbs down, but... Uh, this game. I mean, hey. To the people who, who say that they genuinely got a kick out of this game and genuinely thought it was all right... Uh, b honestly, bless you. Bless your little hearts. Oh, look, yeah, the sound effects actually stop here as well. No more sound effects. The crane has, has, has stopped making any kind of sound effects. I mean, that's kind of cool. That, that's fun. Anyway, let's go see Monica. Let's go take our mystery medicine that Eric's given us. I wonder if Eric actually locked her in here in the first place. We may never know. Hello. I got some strange mystery pills from some bloke who's leaking pus from his neck. There you go. And I thought you'd come back empty-handed. What's this? Antibiotics, apparently. Someone gave them to me. You've got wounds all over. They're small. But if you don't do anything about them, they could become serious. What? No water? Don't be picky. Just swallow them. I'll uh, take them too. Yeah, my mouth is so dry right now. You both took the antibiotics you received from Eric. There we go. Well, that'll at least stop us dying right this very second, I guess. It's also not how antibiotics work. Like, you know, you have to take them. They, they build up in your system. They, yeah, uh, I, yeah it's fine. It, you know, it's, this, the, oh, this game. I just, you know what? Let's go save it because, uh, uh, you know, save it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here, guys, because, um, my missus should be coming home any second and I've got to take her desk apart and sort out her new monitor. So, thank you very much for watching guys and as always, till next time.